Yeah. And all these cars would start brown. Yes. yes. Yeah. I, I'm not going to say they would do it right now, no, but yeah. yeah. A good, a good day. Yeah, half day. It came from a tennis match. Yeah. Okay. This is a car I'm most excited about. This is a 1995 Ford GT90 concept car. It was never put into production. It is a V12 with four turbos. It's absolutely insane. So we don't run heat. Run air conditioning. Uh, they, uh, Ford estimated this car to 250 miles an hour top speed when it was released in 1995. That is adjustable. I mean, it is so far ahead of its time. It's insane. But I remember having this as a poster on my wall as a kid. And I actually had the Hot Wheels version of this car. I didn't think I'd ever actually ever just see the real concept in person. So this is really cool. Carbon fiber. No body on an aluminum chassis. The car is just so far ahead of its time. Even to this day, it still looks futuristic. I mean, all of it. That's such a pretty car. Pretty, pretty car. So, it's hard to tell, but the tail lights are really close to how the muffler comes out design wise. Like <laughs> right down his alley. Yeah. We let the battery go dead on it, and the battery is inside behind the seats. Oh, man. Yeah, I know. So, I so when I was a kid, I had a poster of this on my wall. Did you? And I had the Hot Wheels version of this car. I didn't think I'd ever actually ever get to see it in real life. In real life, yeah. So I was super, super excited. Darn it. Sorry. Yeah, it's definitely different. So once the battery dies, you can't get inside, huh? Yeah. We have a way, like this cord down here, you can, I don't know. Yeah, I stay away from all that stuff. That's all right. When uh, we first got it, we didn't know how to get into it, and they tried to pry this open, and they shattered this. Ooh. So we had to have a mold made. So, yeah, 16,000 later, we had a windshield. So we didn't even mess with putting the trim back on it or anything like that. But yeah. It's not like you can just get GT90 parts anywhere. Right. No, it's <laughs> one of one. Never. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, I remember my, uh, I remember the, 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 the model car I had <laughs> that had the blue windows to me with the blue interior. Yep, yep. Yep, yeah, and... And it just, it says GT90 everywhere i mean the tread the, even says gt90 in the tires the car is so far ahead of its time mm -hmm. even to this day standards it's still a crazy car exactly yeah, ford estimated go 250 miles an hour mm -hmm. uh i don't think they actually put it at the yeah, test but that's what they estimated yeah i think it was like, a, was it 259 or something like that and the, hello yeah On the Elliott car? Okay. Are you on the tractor? No. Yes. 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 More back here. They're not short of a uh, Cobra jets around here, that's for sure.
John Force, Mike Nerf. This is still a full interior car, windows and everything. I can tell by how heavy the door was open it up. That old nature A sign Indianapolis. I think that's Indianapolis. I could be wrong. That's how it says championship. I can't tell. I have to ask. Still got the seat covers on it. Protection on the steering wheel. Tires look brand new. This one's already ever been raised. Something that hasn't, so that's the plastic. This one's the same thing, so has a plastic on it. Brand new cover jets, never ran. Crazy. I don't know the history of this. But she definitely had better days. Cage did its job. Super light fenders. all kinds of old stuff laying around here parts off cars Bobby Allison signed that right there how cool is that I wonder if that was probably Ernie Irvin the Bindel Jarrett, the one back here, the Viagra. I want to say Mark Martin raced Viagra sponsorship right where he stopped. Interstate batteries, that would be from Bobby Labonte. 99 Tours. Isn't that Jeff Burton, I think? I think so. Quality Care, number 88, back telepound. That would have been, uh, oh, his name took my tongue. Come on. I can't think of his name now. Hall of Fame exhibit. Hopefully that car's still here. That'd be cool to see. Oh, and here's the specs on the GT90 concept car. I'll let you guys read this. Cool zap. All right.